What did you find over there on the skimmer? You can see we're starting to, we pretty much have 95% of the rocks on here. There's only a few big ones left. And Corey's making a bunch of noise as usual. But right now we were... Noise? Yeah, you are. Continue. Okay. I was just prepping until we could start pulling the fire back so we could start making a pile of gravel for Corey. And upon further investigation, I noticed that they hooked up the skimmer kind of weird. And someone's, uh, I don't know, he's in it. It's Monday. But so usually when we, and we will show you how we install a skimmer. And but normally we take the edge, so here's the top liner and the edge of the liner and we'll take that and we'll carve it along our, like along the side of the pond and then it'll come up to the skimmer. Well with this one, it looks like they took the skimmer and they cut out a hole in the back and they dropped the skimmer in, allowing that liner to go all the way around the skimmer and then they, in, um, actually, they have the faceplate hooked up to it. So it's just, I mean, nothing's wrong with it. It's just a bunch of waste of liner and a waste of time that they did for nothing against them. It's just, we're gonna show you how to properly install the skimmer. going on DK team aquascape coming at you we're on another pond rehab project this one's gonna be a really cool project I've got the team with me I got Luis Corey Jack's over here putting his boots on ready to go in we're ready to pull the fish out put them in the fish tubs let me walk you through what we got going on so we are going to take this entire pond out we're gonna end up building a new bio falls back to where that grass is we're gonna move the skimmer over a couple feet we're gonna do some secret stairs going down into the pond we're also going to remove this rose bush and right where it's sitting a large urn is going to go in halfway into the pond we're going to carve a fish cave into it which i don't think we've ever done before we're going to make this pond a little bit bigger a little bit deeper it's roughly about a thousand gallons now we're going to make it probably about 1500 plus so we're going to get going we're excited to get rolling on this one on a monday morning here for a couple days so stay tuned and we'll be checking in throughout the day Jack, I see you're using the shovel there on a second shelf because those cobbles are locked in. Why is that? Because whoever built this used foam instead of gravel to backfill. They also did that up here on the top edge. Why is that a no-no? Because it's a pain in the butt to tear out. <laughs> That's why. And because it leaks, right? Yeah. It doesn't All the edges on this pond are super low and they came back in behind it after the fact foam. And let me let me rephrase that real quick. It's not so bad foaming the bottom, like foaming these, like it probably was because they were falling down and that's why they used foam to keep them upright. But like all in the edges and stuff like that, especially over in this corner. This waterfall foam isn't a waterproofer. It's just a way to detour the water for our waterfalls so we can dictate where the water goes. It's, I mean, even in our waterfalls, like you're gonna get sea fish through the foam after and right here, that liner dipped down and there was a hole in the liner and they used foam to kind of act as a patch. And so that's why we use our, our um, double-sided and our cover tape for our seams. Like we use that cover tape to put over patches so that it, it creates a watertight seal. Awesome. Time to get back to work. First of all, Jack, you just stole my shovel. You're welcome, anytime. Second of all, what did you find over there on the skimmer? You can see we're starting to, we pretty much have 95% of the rocks on here. There's only a few big ones left. And Corey's making a bunch of noise as usual. But right now we were- Noise? Yeah, you are. Continue. Okay. I was just prepping until we could start pulling the fire back so we could start making a pile of gravel for Corey. And upon further investigation, I noticed that they hooked up the skimmer kind of weird. And someone's, uh, I don't know, he's in it. It's Monday. But so usually when we, and we will show you how we install a skimmer. And, but normally we take the edge, so here, 
here's the top of the liner and the edge of the liner, and we'll take that and we'll carve it along our, our like along the side of the pond, and then it'll come up to the skimmer. Well, with this one, it looks like they took the skimmer and they cut out a hole in the back and they dropped the skimmer in, allowing that liner to go all the way around the skimmer, and then they in, um actually they have the base plate hooked up to it. So it's just I mean nothing's wrong with it. It's just a bunch of waste of liner and a waste of time that they did for nothing against them. It's just we're gonna show you how to properly install the skimmer. Pond's done right. Customer serve right. That's right, buddy. Just like that, the demo is done. We just marked out where some of our shelves are gonna go. Like I said earlier, we're putting an urn in here, so we're gonna shift this pond. We're gonna beach this area up in here to accommodate for all that splash. We're gonna sink that in the ground into the pond a little bit to also reduce that splash so that we don't have to take the liner clear out into the grass area. We're gonna bring this pond right up to the patio and then kick it back out, do some hidden stairs with our granite boulders. We're going to excavate three foot deep. We've got about another 14 inches to go down here in the bottom so we're going to cut that out some more we're going to utilize all of our spoiled dirt back there on that back side build that berm up so we get a real nice two three drop biofalls waterfalls we're going to set the biofalls sorry and then have a two or three drop waterfall coming out of it into the pond which will create a really nice sound effect and set this thing up for a nice area to sit around and enjoy what do you think jack demo day i think it's going by pretty well it's already 11 o'clock and we already have the pond tour out so uh fingers crossed we can uh, get this pond shaped in and liner in awesome what do you think cory so far so good a man yeah. of a lot of words man of some yeah. deep words deep. all right we're gonna get to work and we'll check in later see ya So one of the things that we've recently acquired is these new Alta Turn mats from Dyka USA. They're a three by eight mat. They're smooth on one side, treaded on the other. We want the clear ones so that they don't burn the grass up if left on for a day or two. Hot heat. It will scorch a little bit, but not as bad as the black ones that'll completely kill the grass. So the guys are currently working on bringing back our 304 so that we can excavate everything. So we're laying these mats down to help protect this super nice hardscape patio and also the neighbor's yard so we're not tearing it up so it takes a little extra time but totally worth it less clean up less repair at the end great investment they're a little bit more expensive about 200 250 dollars a piece but when you're buying plywood three four times a year you pretty much pay for them in the first season and then they'll last you for years and years and years to come so guys are doing a great job jack's threading the needle coming in we'll set up a few more and then a pad area where he can sit to excavate this Let's go infill the jack, the excavator operator. What's up? How's it going? It's going good. It's not as bad as last week. It's uh, the weather's great. Definitely not as hot. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Looking forward to it. Working with granite, so it's always fun. Right All right, let's do it. Let's knock down a park. What you working on, Jack? Installing the 6,000 biofalls. Nice. Two inch or three inch? Two inch. So right now, as you can see, we're a little behind schedule, unfortunately. We are excavating the pond out, and originally we were supposed to get the biofall set before we get before we got the, the biofall installed, installed. But um, things have happened, or some things have happened. But right now, I'm pretty much cutting out where this biofall is gonna sit. I set it to my, to my height that I wanted at, and I set it back behind me, the edge of the pond, so I get a nice stream and I get some nice twists and turns out of the pond. Once we build that waterfall, but right now the most important part is leveling it off, and making sure things are going to stay nice and level, which means that don't have any um, organic matter under the base of the bio walls. That'll allow it to settle backwards or to the side, and it'll allow it to form in the future. So you always want to make sure it's always compacted with no grass or tree roots or any um, plant matter that might decompose over time, allowing that bio falls to settle. Nice. So we got everything leveled, compacted. We're going to set this, set and shape it, yep. and then hook up our two inch and go back and put our skimmer in as well. Corey is working on excavating that area. We'll hurry up and get this in, get it leveled off, and we'll keep rocking and rolling. Some of the tools that we're using is the metal spade. We got our four foot level. We've got our hand tamper. So we made sure that our area for where the falls is gonna sit is compacted. Here's 
57. Liner is in. Today was a good up. day. Today was a good day. It is hot. It got hot. Yeah. We're tired. We're excited. Everything's looking awesome. We're set up great for tomorrow. Jack, what do you think? Job well done for everyone today. We uh we we're exactly where we want to be. We got the skimmer in, vial falls in, liner in. So tomorrow we can come in first thing in the morning and screw in our faceplate for our skimmer and uh we can start rocking and rolling, set our urn in, and uh we'll get pretty far tomorrow rocking it in. Awesome. Got the plumbing in. Yeah. So we'll talk about kind of how we approach things, why it is good to look up the CAC network, some of the things that we found today and why you should approach it the way we like to and make it a teachable learning moment, right? Yep. Until then, it's hot. We're done for the day. Homeowner is ecstatic. He's excited. excited. We're going home. So see you in the morning.